Dublin's horse show brings the country to town when horses, riders and hounds of the Kildare Hunt invade the arena. Top show jumping nations are gathered to contest the Aga Khan Gold Cup. Nobody misses the Dublin Horse Show. Town and country gather in force. And while the arena is active, there's quiet but shrewd assessment of bloodstock among visiting buyers from overseas. Deutschmarks, Swiss francs and petrodollars are bidding for the best Ireland has. The activity behind the scenes never stops. Meanwhile, out in that summer sunshine, reputations among the champion hunters are made and lost. There's a big crowd, all of them fancy themselves as judges. Dublin show, with the top show jumping event about to begin, is a wonderful place to be. President Hillary is there, and Captain Con Power and Eddie Mackin cast a critical eye over the fences. There's nothing like a military band to get the adrenaline flowing. Time for the big event of the day, the Aga Khan Trophy. Enter the Irish Nations Cup team, followed by the strong German contingent. The British team. Hendrik Schnurk of Germany. Next, Italy's Colonel Dinzeo. Ted Edgar of Britain on Everest Amigo and Carolyn Bradley on Marius. Ireland's Eddie Mackin on Boomerang. His jumping is brilliant and the crowd sense an Irish victory. Paul Schockermola and Talisman. Germany is well in with a chance. But in a jump off against the clock, it's the Irish team who come home the winners. The crowd is thrilled at an Irish victory and justly proud of their performance, the Irish team ride out for the presentation of the Aga Khan Gold Cup. President Hillary presents the trophy to the Irish chef to keep, Lieutenant Colonel Sean Daly, who selected the winning team. Germany is a close second, Britain is third. The president has a word with Colonel Dinzeo, whose team came fourth. But all honor goes today to the team whose tremendous riding brings the Aga Khan Gold Cup home to Ireland. Elephants in their natural habitats manage most elephants.